hi again we are back for the second half of chapter nine he feels our pain this is part two and we are looking at genesis chapter one verses one through five in the king james version but let me read that paragraph before so that you will understand why we're going to look at that so it says, now I want to pause here for a second and show you something powerful regarding Jesus, who is the true light. Let's go look at Genesis chapter one really quick. This is just a sidebar note that is in me to not pass by at this moment since you are understanding the light and the need for the light to shine in the darkness. So here we go. Genesis chapter one, verse one through five, the King James version reads, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 in the King James Version says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts know what it is, what is the mind of the Spirit. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. In Genesis chapter 1, we are told that the earth that man was created from was without form, void, meaning empty. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. We have identified grief and depression as feeling like a deep darkness. Are you beginning to see Genesis? Besides God, the creator of heaven and earth, the first thing we see after we are made to take note of the darkness is that the spirit of God moved to and fro over or moved upon the darkness. You see that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. Now look at Romans chapter 8 verse 26. There we are told that the spirit, this is the spirit of God, helps us with our infirmities, depression and grief is an infirmity a physical or mental weakness and it and that it makes intercession prayer for us with groanings which cannot be uttered the holy spirit can feel our pain and when we don't know how to pray he prays for us with groanings unuttered in this darkness where the Holy Spirit is moving upon the face of the waters, it is not a coincidence that our tears of water falls from our eyes and runs down our face. And praying for us with groanings unuttered because we can't seem to find the words to pray for ourselves. You do see this, right? God speaks. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 tells us that God spoke and said, let there be light and there was light are you seeing this let me help you by taking you back to john chapter 1 where we are again shown the beginning verse 9 says the true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world at john chapter 9 verse 5 jesus said while i am in the world i am the light of the world the Holy Spirit told me when I was in a place of darkness to turn up my light. John chapter 1 verse 4, speaking of Jesus, said, In him was life, and that life was the light of men. In John chapter 11 verse 25, Jesus speaking to Martha said, I am the resurrection and the life. If you take a second and just go over and over and over those verses, meditating upon them, what you will find is that in that place of darkness, you are not alone. The Holy Spirit is with you, interceding for you. Jesus is there with you. The Holy Spirit tells you to live. The Holy Spirit tells you to turn up your own light. Let some lights have dimmers on them where they can be turned up or down. Depression comes when your light has been dimmed. 
to overcome depression, loneliness, grief, sadness. Turn up your light in the name of Jesus Christ. This is proof that Jesus felt Mary's pain and anger deeply. He did love Mary, her sister Martha, and her brother. But wait, there is more. Something is happening. Something unexpected. Something endearing. Something touching. Something that catches everyone off guard. Something that stops everyone in their tracks. Something that pauses even Mary in the middle of her own weeping and grieving and causes her to look on in wonder. Something that again goes over the heads of those present. They just didn't understand it then. And many times the real meaning of why is missed now. Why what? Jesus wept. We're going to pause here. Give you time to talk to the Lord. And this is what it says. Father, in the midst of my tears, you are right here comforting me. You got me. You comfort me as I weep. You feel my pain. You know the meaning of my groanings. You know my heart even before I speak it. I just need to rest and feel as if you are holding me. Daddy, can I talk to you? And so we're going to pause right here. And we'll be back. Come back to the next chapter.